Well, Craig, Jenny, Omaha police tell me line of duty deaths are becoming all too common, a trend they say hits a little too close to home just months after losing one of their own. It's been less than four months since Officer Carrie Orozco was shot and killed in the line of duty. But with an increase in shootings against law enforcement officers across the country, Bridget Fitzpatrick with Omaha Police says it's a reminder of the effects a fallen officer can have on the force. The death of an officer isn't just the death of an officer, it's a tragedy to the whole entire community. In Illinois, the manhunt continues for three men who authorities say gunned down Fox Lake Police Lieutenant Charles Joseph Glenowitz Tuesday during a chase. And over the weekend, someone shot a Houston area sheriff's deputy to death after filling up his patrol car at a local gas station. Fitzpatrick says Omaha police know firsthand the dangers of the job all too well. This could happen anywhere to any officer. When you strike down an officer simply because they're wearing a uniform, that makes every officer vulnerable. And it's not only officers who have to accept the risks of being behind the badge. With, with the families having to experience that when their loved ones walk out the door, they may not come home. That stress is really difficult. We caught up with City Council President Ben Gray at Wednesday's Omaha 360 meeting, an example of community and police relations, a movement he says is necessary to stop violence once and for all. It's a movement to bring the people, people in blue and those in the community closer together so that we form that bond that eliminates or suppresses as much as possible the kind of violence that we've seen across the country. While Omaha police say recent events have them more aware of their surroundings, they say it's not going to stop them from doing their job. They're policing us, they're taking care of us, and I hear from them every day. We're doing the same job we always did. This is our job. And FBI statistics show that every accused cop killer last year was either captured or killed. Reporting live in the News Center, Andrea Flores came, TV Action 3 News. We